our back playing some customs and we're going for an ostrich team. Not just a few ostriches, we're going full send five ostriches. The key to this build is whenever you level up a pet, you get two options in the shop. Now you can pick one and the other goes away, or you can freeze the both and then have up to nine frozen pets in the shop, all tier five or six. If you have a level three ostrich, that's 27, 27 in scaling in a single turn. I mean, that's way too much. You're really only gonna get level two ostriches for the most part, but just imagine. Just imagine how good that's gonna be. Picture it in your head. And now let's watch how good it's gonna be. I'd consider a ferret. I think Bunyip is the way to do it. Bunyip is just so good early. I don't know what it is. Well, I do. It's his ability, but <laughs> it just feels really good. Ooh. Unfortunate ant hit, but so be it. Let's just make sure we don't lose this one. Which, I mean, should be definitely doable, given this team. This is, like, a really strong team. Okay. Beautiful. We'll take it. I don't think there is any way we don't win that, just given that stat matchup. Oh. Little capybara, little giraffe, maybe? Roll me. I think we just, we just cook it here. I don't think we keep any of this. We're looking for more cappies, I think. That's what I've found to be the most secure, most consistent way, we'll say, to get into the, the mid to late game. It's just really strong. Get a little drop bear going. Why not? Kill an ant. We could pill bug. I think I'd rather do this. A hatching chick. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, so our bunyip's gonna be huge. We gotta get some garlic on you. Um, but hopefully it's just fine here. Um... Alright, well, our drop bear just inted. <laughs> that was horrid. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. All right, we go here. We go. Don't think we go giraffe here. Since we have double capybara, I think I'm more inclined to do something more akin to this. Dude, we're still not outscaling the the bunyip. That's wild. Rolling. Yes, sir. I love it. Okay, so this is just the Wild West as far as who's getting buffed by these by these uh, baboons. Because we have basically an entire team full of tier 3s. Which isn't a bad thing, I guess, but... Definitely doesn't help us a whole lot. Okay, I actually don't mind doing this. And then we can combine here. Turtle's pretty good. I like Manatee as well, but we don't have a forever unit yet. You could argue maybe Baboon is a forever unit, but I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Come on, something good. I mean, Hatching Chick maybe if we find some more. Like, it's a little late for it, you know? At this point, I'm kind of thinking we just scale up a turtle, you know? Seems reasonable. Please don't hit you. Every time, dude, I swear. <laughs> Every single time. Okay. So... What if we don't do Baboon right now? What if we try to find a good tier 4? Kill you. Come on, something. Anything, please. We can go here. Okay, skunk will do. 
Get rid of the Cappy. Skunk is going to be our champion. He's going to be our tier 4 champion. Hopefully it's enough. I mean, a 10-15 feels pretty strong. And it's a Skunk, which is just guaranteed to be good. So, <laughs> maybe that'll be enough. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so we're done with the Cappies now. We're going into full-on... Ooh, I don't know if that was a good idea, actually. Manatee's tier 4. Yeah. Because we're giving 2-1, but we might be pulling a 2-4, maybe even a 3-6 from our Skunk. That's not worth it. No sorry. I will grab a Brain Cramp, though. That's at least going to get us some amount of damage. Okay. It trades one for one. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, we might be curving out. I'm not sure. We're going to need to get some levels here. Hopefully a food dog. That would be nice. If we can get a food dog into an ostrich, that would be a dream come true. I will grab a stingray. That seems good. Might keep a stingray, depending on the baboon situation here. Roll me. We want garlic on you, probably. There's a lot of summons, a lot of like little petty snipes. I think garlic is a really good, really good option here. There are the snipes. Even just this, like the garlic is winning. I, I think we win regardless, but the garlic just takes out their whole team, which is fantastic. Okay, and now, roll me. Unfortunate we're not finding many levels. I don't really want a chocolate into you guys. Right? Because they're buy triggers. But I mean, if we gotta, <laughs> I guess we will. Alpaca is good. Let's go here. We very well may just be hard pivoting next turn and selling a whole boatload of stuff. Let's see. This team might look very different in one turn. Skunk doing skunk things. Fantastic. Okay. So all we know for sure is we're keeping a skunk. So let's level you. Mongoose is great. Not alpaca great, but great in other ways. Um, let's go probably air palm. Throw in the alpaca. And then I think we're just rolling, trying to find ostriches now. Udog is a great opportunity to do that. Another Stingray wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we don't have any tier 5s to... Or tier 6s to scale now. Oh, dude, this skunk is just... Making mincemeat out of these guys. And then our alpaca lets us down. <laughs> you hate to see it. Alright, what do we got? Nothing? Feels bad, man. Um, okay. We get Octopus here. We'll keep the Stingray in case we get a level for him. Melon's not too bad. Okay, we'll go here. There he is, we found him. I wish we could keep the Yeti and the Ostrich. Find more Ostriches with the Yeti. Okay, is this going to be enough? We'll see. I kind of doubt it, to be honest, but maybe. A whole lot of snipes. That's fine. That will do just fine. We also have to be concerned about the runway, right? We gotta make sure we're gonna get to the ostrich late game. So we can go here. I'd like to keep the Stingray until we get a level on him. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. Kind of a tricky situation here. Okay, since we have a Mongoose buy sell, let's just do that. We'll go Air Palm. Actually, Peanut, I think, makes sense. 
peanut for the octopus. And we won't freeze Yeti. Really, we're looking for ostrich right now. We did not find any. And it does kill him. That's good. The peanuts kill through the, the pepper. Dude, this is miserable. <laughs> this is so miserable. This is just customs in a nutshell. You get these goofy teams. It's just... It's hard to do anything weird. Because you're just going to get slaughtered over and over. We were pretty close though. I think had we found a few more ostriches earlier on, we would have been outscaling that team. So we're on the right track. Start me with the ant ferret. And this ball may be a pill bug. With that team, I think we go pill bug. We run it like this for now. Let's be some disgruntled rascals. What's the number for 911? Didn't get the reference. <laughs> it's a good movie if you don't get it. Little Rascals, look it up. Go here. Refresh our tennis ball for a second. Okay. This has got to win, right? Surely this guy wins. Maybe. Yes, sir. Okay. Love to see it. Oh, dude, I forgot about the pill bug. <laughs> I totally forgot. He's just hanging out over there. All right, what do we run in here? We could go double scaling. We don't have a tier two. So that's important to keep in mind. With that in consideration, I think we do this. And we try to get some more hatching chicks soon. I will definitely run an African penguin. I think this is the way to do it. Because then we can get hatching chick level 2, hard scale of brain cramp, and he'll just carry us through the, the mid game on his own. When are you going to summon? Zero? Lovely. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. Buy, sell. Buy, sell again. I think we'd probably end on a bat. Could we have gotten a level up? Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know that. Did you know that? Don't lie. Oh, baby. This brain cramp is just doing work. He's putting the team on his friggin' back out here. Okay. I don't think we keep pills right now. There we go. Okay. Go here. Baboon me. Cappy's great. We're looking for, uh, for another hatching chick. If we can get that going, that'd be huge. Oh, please. Dear Lord, come on. Well, unoriginal. Okay. Do we care about the baboon or the cappy? That's the question. Let's go baboon, because we're looking for level ups, right? The cappy's not gonna be doing anything unless we pivot. I kind of like this team. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> don't mind if I do. All right. I think we buy sell a fairy, we we get the blowfish cooking a little bit. We could also turtle though. It's just that the baboon is gonna be buffing the turtle partially as well. Maybe that's not a bad thing, I don't know. I think we still keep buffing the brain cramp though, regardless. Let's go fairy. I like the fairy here. Brain cramp is getting absolutely cooked up right now. I love it. Look at this. Look at that go. Okay. I am realizing you should probably be back here. Um, the beauty of brain cramp, he doesn't even need a level. Levels mean very little to a brain cramp. 
We'll go tinderbox. We'll go blowfish. I think skunk is better than a bat. In a vacuum, at least. Hold you, hold you. Can we get a hatching chick level three? That would be huge if we can pull that off. Oh, dude, the skunk is just so good. He's so good. I can't say enough about the skunk. When he just takes out a hippo for you, says, nah, don't worry. I got this. <laughs> it feels so good. Um, probably not a baboon level three angle. I think he's probably gonna go soon. The fig brain cramp. Take notes if you're gonna remember anything from these games. Big brain cramp is goaded. The way to do it. Are we gonna do it? Yes, we are. Heck to the yes. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. Can we get an early ostrich? This would be pivotal. No. <laughs> we cannot. Do we ditch the blowfish here? Go for the triceratops instead? I think so. We could also Quetzal. Get the hatching chick going, but it's fighting with these three. I'm thinking maybe we just do the, the old fashioned way, you know? Wait, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Ignore that, I'm trolling. Um, yeah. We definitely want to get Hatching Chick cooking up. I mean, I think we keep buffing Brain Cramp. I don't know if Triceratops is staying. I'll be straight up with you. I'm not sure if it is. It might be. I'm not saying it ain't. Oh, dude. Need I say more about this skunk? Holy moly. He's just doing work out here. We could alpaca. I don't think that's the play though. We could cap a pivot. Don't think that's the play either. Let's give the skunk a fig. I'm looking for the hatching chick. You couldn't tell, that's, that's my primary focus. There's the ostrich. I think Hatching Chick goes on the Skunk right now. I think Baboon's gonna go next turn. Maybe Triceratops. If we can find two Ostriches, I'll full send the Triceratops. As in, get rid of him. <laughs> That's what I mean by full send. Okay. How the heck are we still at five hearts, by the way? That's kind of wild. Just skunk things, I guess. Skunk plus the fig brain cramp. Can't be beat. Alright, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna level you. And here's the beauty of it. We can freeze a full shop. We find a full shop. We did not. Um, Hammerhead is actually very good. I don't know why I'm not throwing him in instead of the Triceratops. But yeah, so we're gonna level you, get a whole thing going. I don't know if it triggered before or after the ostrich. Unsure. Oh, dude, <laughs> that tent. He lives with one. You hate to see that. All right, we lost our first heart. That's unfortunate. We go here. We have enough hearts. Do we just full send this? I mean, we've got the hatching chick here. Hard not to. We have almost an obligation to full send it here. So they do, they don't get the trigger from the hatching chick level up. The ostriches don't buff from it. So that's good to know. And yeah, so we're gonna lose a couple here. I'm hoping we weren't too ambitious here. <laughs> that would be really bad. If we just int this and lose it. That would be a, a real big bummer. Um, let's see. J 
just for the record, this is not the smart play. <laughs> but I think this is what we need to do to make this build happen. So I'm going to do it. We get air palm, I think is good here. Buy, sell some more. Uh, I don't know who to chocolate here. <laughs> There's no one to put chocolate on. Um, what if we chocolate you? Then we do this. Okay. Not, not fully act maxing out the shop whatever here but i don't think that's an issue okay garlic would be nice here but he is running kind of a low-key scaling build maybe we've got enough for it no <laughs> not re not even close turkey's too strong all right here's how we're doing this now we go here we go we don't use the chocolate yet I don't think we freeze either yet. We need to get rid of the hammerhead for another ostrich. Can we find another ostrich? That's the question. With two oysters, I think we try to full send it. Maybe we run a yeti. I mean, it would feel a little silly, for sure. Let's do this. Freeze all of you guys. We don't want the Yeti to roll. Because we actually do need to like not necessarily die right now. <laughs> that would be kind of nice. So we're getting pretty large, all things considered. But we're not quite large enough. I'm kind of missing our skunk, I'll be honest. <laughs> I wish we had our skunk back. Um, let's see. I mean, maybe we just keep them frozen, you know? Like, what if we just do this? And then the hatching chick will do too, and then we freeze it, and then we look for chocolate. We're not getting the full thing, admittedly. I don't know if we're gonna have enough to- oh no, that fly is huge. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh man. I feel like we went a little too hard on the pivot, but if we didn't, we were just going to win too early, I think. We just need to get more ostriches. <laughs> I also don't know if I love the hatching chick here. It is very good, don't get me wrong, but it, it kind of was a little clunky because we're finding a lot of chocolate. The level ups aren't our issue, like the chocolate part, it's actually finding the ostrich itself that's kind of posing to be an issue. All right, surely we can pull this off. We got two bluebirds. How do you go wrong with a double bluebird comp? And we're running fossils. Archaeologists hate this one simple trick. Okay, I mean, this isn't gonna go too hot, to be honest. But that's kind of expected when you're running a double bluebird. Double bluebird I see in a similar vein to mouse early. Where you're, you're building toward the later on game, but you're well aware you're probably not going to win the early ones. We should be able, yeah, 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 we should be good here. I mean, as long as you don't lose the first two, who cares? 
not I. And now we get a level up. Um, okay, so we combine the two big ones to maximize our stat usage. Early capybara is huge. Um, Frost wolf, if we can find an egg, wouldn't mind that. I don't think we're going for a level three bluebird. I think level two is the sweet spot. Level three, you're investing a little too much in my opinion. That's an extra nine gold, not including rerolls that you could be putting in not tier ones. <laughs> I mean, let's be real, the upside on the level 3 Bluebird, not that much. He's really not doing a whole lot. This is where Egg would be huge. But I guess we don't need it. The 4-4 four four just does work out here. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's go Egg here. I'd like to roll into something like a good tier 2 pivot, potentially. I mean, we get the Frost Wolf buff, so I guess that's good. We could run it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Avert your eyes. That was horrid. I was... I can... I don't even know. I, I can't explain what just happened. That was terrible news. At least we don't lose here. That would have made it even worse. Yeah, I'm not... There is a thing going on. A whole lot of short-circuiting going on in my neurons. And it resulted in that. <laughs> Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so... I mean, Blowfish is a fantastic level up opportunity for the Baboon. I think... Not level up, I guess. Once we get to next... Once we get to tier 4. It's nice to have the Blowfish in reserve. Ready for the Baboon to go. That way we don't have to go hunt for him. Maybe we'll find a blowfish with the cappy too. That would be even better. Okay, since we don't have the egg, we're gonna break ice with our baboon. Um, we are good. Okay. That was a little close. These definitely aren't easy wins. <laughs> but they're wins. More so, they're not even just wins. They're not losses. That's the important part. Ties are even better, I think. If we're trying to go for some goofy ostrich thing, you gotta get, you gotta draw it out as much as you possibly can. Okay, so another Cappy's great. I think, I mean the Foo Dog, you know how, how much I love Foo Dog. We'll consider it. He's also the, he's tied for the most statted guy on our team. So there's an argument to be made there. There's also, I guess, an argument to be made about not using Giraffe. Uh, okay, we're good. The hippo concerned me. If he had garlic, we'd be over, but he didn't. But yeah, like when you have Cappies and you got a food dog coming up, getting an extra little buff on your Blowfish, not really necessary. Especially when you get another Cappy and you can just sell him. Okay. I mean, at this point, we're looking for a good tier four. Could. Hold on. Okay, we combine these two. We get, we side stack the food dog because he's just absolutely enormous. And if we find another, we'll combine, level up all that jazz. Okay, what do we got? The square whiskers. They have a rhino, which is a little intimidating. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> we were surprisingly close for almost getting clean sweep by a rhino. Okay. Another capybara. What is going on? I like the alpaca. There's something to be said about an early alpaca. We could go garlic there. But I kind of want to get rid of these cappy guys if we can get like just a solid foundation we're getting to the point where capybara is not going to be very efficient anymore like we're just going to get outscaled once you get to tier four slash five like look at this guy this is insanity if we didn't have melons we'd be over with <laughs> we would be so dead but we do so we're not okay I mean, Frostwolf is gone. We're not investing in you anymore. 
Another chocolate. Get a foo dog. I mean, we're really not close to a level three. Ostrich? <laughs> Hold on here. Early ostrich. The earliest you can get an ostrich, might I add. And we have an alpaca ready. Another alpaca? Okay. This is fantastic. Okay, so here's my thought. We stack alpacas while we're still on tier 5. Try to keep the capybara around, because that extra attack will do wonders for these high health ostriches. Um, that's unfortunate. All these Lynx abusers, what the heck. Okay, so we'll get rid of, I think, Food Dog here. I want to keep the, the turtle for sure. Who else we run in here? I mean... <laughs> I would love nothing more than to get an ostrich here. That would just be absolutely fantastic. Ostrich with the cappy, I mean. It's just hard to justify keeping this cappy bar around so long. You know? It's tricky. So we'll get 1-1. One, one. Huge buffs. The greatest to ever do it, some say. Um, we take you out. We take you out. Oh, baby. These melons are doing work for us. Let me tell you that much. It seems like we're stabilizing at three hearts, which is kind of nice. Three slash four. We don't count the... Ooh! We got the ostrich. Okay. This is fantastic news. This is exactly what I was hoping for. With the cappy buffs. Can we get another one? I'm selling the cappy here. Oh, baby. This has to be it. This has to be the one, right? We can roll... We can technically roll one more. But I think I like this. We can see here. Combine you guys. Oh, baby. There's so many ostriches. You really can't make this up. Okay. So... I mean, we, if we can find a pill, I'll pill the turtle. I kind of doubt we'll find one with our single slot open. But maybe. You always got to dream, you know? Dream big. And then you'll maybe reach the top of a mountain. Shoot for the stars, so to speak. Okay. So these guys are going to get huge. That is fantastic. So we'll sell the turtle next turn. So we get the alpaca buff on our ostrich, and then we'll sell the ostrich to get the, to get another ostrich. No, <laughs> you know what I mean. We'll sell the, we'll sell the, the turtle, place the ostrich, sell the alpaca, place another ostrich. And then we try to, with the chocolates, get a nine stack shop. That's our goal. Clear as mud. Great. Fantastic. Good stuff. That was a little dicey, but a draw is huge. Draw is exact to what we need here. Alright, so we want to play the chocolate at the very end. We want to make sure that we have those, the double level up opportunity. In this case, I think we go air palm. We definitely don't need TV. Ostriches have got that one covered. And they, they're going to be so huge coming up here. There's really no reason to not run. Or there's no reason to run peanuts. We got enough damage to handle it. Alright, so we're only going to get five here. That's honestly not a huge issue. Here's where the, I think the hatching chick level three could come in handy. But... I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of nice to have the mongoose toy, to be honest. Okay. Now, what do we got here? Behemoths? <laughs> we just blocked a whole boatload of damage with that coconut. What was that going to be? 14 damage or something like that? Something insane. Okay. Just got to find the ostrich. The, the fifth ostrich. The final one. Hold the chocolate. Where is he? Come on. 
hold the other chocolate. I mean, I guess we kind of just have to start start freezing at some point, but I hate freezing when we don't have five ostriches. It feels terrible. <laughs> it feels like I'm wasting my life. Dude, come on. I don't want octopus. I want an ostrich. Every other tier six, for the most part, is just there because it has to be for the pack requirements. Um, this could be a little dicey. <laughs> okay, we're good. That was, uh, you know, when you got the tiger behind a boar, you gotta be a little fearful. Okay. The oyster, come on. We can refresh the coconut. Ostrich me. Ostrich me. Anything? He didn't have an ostrich? Okay. Oh, man. Please, just, just give me an ostrich. <laughs> All right, we'll freeze the oyster. Surely this is not how it ends. Four ostriches in a dream. Um, Jersey Devil's a little intimidating. Oh, and we're one off on this guy. Ugh. Okay, we draw actually. How the heck did we manage that? That was incredible. All right. Channel the ostrich. Everyone with me. Come on. We got to make this happen. We'll throw in a Yeti as a backup. Maybe he'll roll into an ostrich. Okay. Oh, baby. This is not it. Um, do the ostriches go off first? Yes. Okay. And then the Yeti can roll. I wasn't sure the ordering of that interaction. Oh, baby. Oh, no, no, no. It's so good. The coconut is incredible. Goodbye, coconut. Okay, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Um, we hold... We don't need to hold chocolate, right? We throw ostrich here. Oh, we got an entire team. Okay. All right, so this is a little bit tricky now because we have to get three chocolates next turn to get all nine pets in the shop. That might not happen, but we, we're getting close enough. <laughs> However this ends, this is the game. I'll put my hat on that one. Beautiful. I mean, surely you don't lose with four 50-50s, almost five coming up here. Let me find some chocolates. We could throw, like, popcorn on somebody. We'll see if we roll into a chocolate here. If we found the last chocolate, I would have gone for that instead. See if we can, like, int around or something. But let's be real. This is way over. Look how many dudes there are. The sheer quantity of ostrich is too much. Maybe? Probably? Yes. Not by much, but it's enough. Oh man, we finally got it. There was a lot, a lot of luck required to get that one, but it feels so good. I love it. I love the ostrich team. It just, there's something about just this mass scaling where you don't have to do a damn thing, but you still have to. Like, it's like really hard to get it to work, <laughs> but it feels like you're not doing anything when they're actually scaling. I don't know. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.